When we look at CAD within our office, I think there's probably three key things that, that are really important for us that we have to get out of our CAD system. I mean, starting with flexibility, I think that's, this is a, a real key one for us. And as I mentioned before, we are a large practice. Um, and I think even for a small practice, it's important. Um, we, need the abil- we need to be able to make the best decision on how to move people between projects and how to deliver projects based on the needs of the project, not the limitations of the CAD software. And I think what Teamwork 2 does is it just takes the CAD software limitation out of the equation. I think what we haven't realised until now, until we've really started thinking about the potentials of what Teamwork 2 can deliver for us, is, is just how efficient that is. And what we find with early design is the, the pressures are very on and off. Um, one week, one project's under enormous pressure. The next week, it goes quiet. And, and, and we're constantly getting a, a varying work, um, demand placed on a project. And that means that sometimes someone who's working on that project really is working at 130% and the next week is down to 65. Now, the, the following week when that person really is only at 65% capacity, there may not be a 45% project easily available for that person to work on, especially if you're... St- if you're stuck with a, a one person per file approach. I don't think it's the most productive way for a, an office to be run. Um, what we found is that if we can implement a teamwork protocol in these early design projects, we can share people around projects more effectively. We can get more out of the time that we have. Um, and if there is a demand on one project and it needs six people, we can put six people on it for half a day. Um, that would have just been inconceivable using hotlinks. To, the restructuring of the project to get six people on it would have taken half a day in itself. And I think productivity is closely tied into speed for us where, when it comes to teamwork too. I mean, a large number of projects in our office really, really only need two people at working on them at CAD at the same time. And even in those smaller projects, we've seen the benefits. Um, we've sometimes found that even small projects are, are quite fiddly and difficult to separate. Uh, sometimes it's easier to divide a, you know, a tower of 20... 20 stories between two people and it is to, to divide a small private luxury home. And it's just simply because of the nature of those projects. And one of the big benefits we get is the speed. I think to the send and receive times of you know, 10 seconds or less and the, the ability to reserve and release elements um, with a, a delay of really only two or three seconds. And then on top of that, to be able to do all of those um, functions simultaneously with, with other team members, that drives huge benefits for us. It's, it's uncanny how often someone ends up with that one element that you need. Um, and, and to simply move one wall from one person's workspace to another person's workspace within a large project, can, you can lose 20, 25 minutes. And, and what that means is it just doesn't work. So people either have to run over to someone's workstation to do the work or, you know, and, and what, peop- what we find is on these really large projects where you've got six, seven or eight people working this way, people just get immensely frustrated and um, the team experience is one of constantly clashing with each other and irritating each other. Um, and it's because people feel like they're constantly fighting themselves and fighting the software to get access to what they need. Um, and if you really contrast, if you contrast this with Teamwork 2, it's a completely different experience um, working within those teams. The, um, the whole atmosphere is completely different. Um, it's a lot more productive, it's a lot more collaborative, and people can get what they need when they want it, and they, and they don't get frustrated. I suppose this is probably one of the more boring of the three, but it's really quite important. I think a reliable CAD platform um, is really essential for people to have confidence, both at a team level and a director level. And for teamwork too, like a lot of the other factors that are critical, it's driven by some of the speed benefits. Um, What we've found that have compromised the reliability of teamwork one projects is the long periods of time that people take between sending and receiving, simply because sending and receiving is so slow, um, means that the model is always out of date. And it can be half a day out of date. And so you end up with a situation where you have a model that is half a day out of date and but multiplied that by five or six people and you end up with a model that's three full working days out of date. And what that means is any kind of problem or crash or power failure or network failure or anything like that um, has a knock-on effect of, that's quite significant. And allowing, allowing the model to be constantly up to date 
has huge benefits for reliability. And it's not just data reliability, but it's the reliability of the model itself. Um, and it's not until you work in, a, in an environment with a, a, com a completely up-to-date model with large teams that you realize just how important that is. For us as a large practice, flexibility is really important. Um, CAD becomes something that is not the focus of staffing, but rather it just facilitates it. Um, and we think it ha that Teamwork 2 has a real potential to revolutionise the way we work. Um, and we're all really looking forward to rolling it out within the practice.